Hello, in that video I want to show you how to easily install for a hackathon a MongoDB server on your free Kubernetes cluster running in IBM Cloud. I will have two parts in that video showing how to set up and then a little bit talking about how this configuration for that situation works. Okay, let us start with the usage of the free Kubernetes cluster. So here I go to the free Kubernetes cluster. I already have instantiated. Then I will use the IBM Cloud Shell. It's very useful if you do not have installed the IBM Cloud CLI or maybe also Cube Control. Is everything is installed already there, and you have uh, 500 megabyte here to work with. Okay, here I have created a GitHub project. That a GitHub project contains the configurations you can use. Here I just clone the project into the cloud shell and then I take a look into the project. So um, there's not a lot. The important thing is that I have a um, bash script here we can execute. But before we can execute, we may have to ensure that we are logged onto the right cluster. So uh, I will just follow the steps which are written inside my cluster itself. So I just copy and paste the commands into the cloud shell. So then I have to log on. and insert the right password. <laughs> okay, so then the next is that we connect to the cluster so that we have um, the cluster in the access in, in this terminal session. Yeah, so everything is set. So Okay, we are prepared to execute the, the script. But before we execute the script, I want to show you the Kubernetes dashboard. So here we open up the Kubernetes dashboard. Okay, that's the Kubernetes dashboard, uh, what we have here. And now I will run my script. So let me see once again. Let's show. And that's with the setup. And then it will execute it. So I create inside that script namespace. The namespace is already there because I uh, have this configuration already running and I don't want to delete the, the, name, the namespace. So, and that's everything. <laughs> everything is done. So, and let's see what happens inside our free Kubernetes cluster. Yeah. <laughs> so here it's running. And take a look in the cloud shell. So what I have now, I have access to the database. Let me take a look into the database. Yeah. Oh. I will have no login to the database because maybe if you are familiar with MongoDB, yeah, there's the port 27017. And yeah, this is the default configuration for uh, the Docker image I use. Okay, so, hmm, uh, but how do we access it? We access it with the UI. Yeah, with the Mongo Express UI. So now, now here we can access, you can see here that's the Mongo Express UI and I can create here my hacker fun db at the db view. Okay, so then we view this here, the collection itself, and then we can create 
here, for example, a name, name, I say happy hacker fun. Okay. Save. Okay, that's all. And it's running. Use it. The configuration for that is that we have following situation. We have this free Kubernetes cluster. With the free Kubernetes cluster, we have um, a restriction because it's free. Yeah, if you have something for free, you do not get everything. We cannot create um, persistent volumes. And in our situation, what we have here, we have a worker node, one worker node here, and uh, we will create two pods from the existing images here uh, from Docker Hub, Mongo, and Mongo Express. So that is the one pod here yeah, will point to that image. So I call that pod um, MongoDB. And we will have a service who routes all the requests to the MongoDB, yeah, to the for the uh, Mongo server, and then uh, we have uh, a pod calling Mongo UI, so that's from the Express. Um, this uh, has the pod uh, 8081 yeah, to access that, and then um, so that we provide. The DNS inside uh, Kubernetes. We, we we define a service here yeah, to route that right, and have a node port. So a node port or that uh, a request from external because we do not have um, free um, IP address for the cluster itself. So we have a free IP address for the worker node. So we can access. So we will use the worker node IP address and the node port information where um, the service is and with the right port information so we can directly access that service and we can invoke here the pod. So what happens if that is requested with the MongoDB you can see here um, we will open up our UI for the database and inside the Kubernetes cluster, the pod can access the service here or the server here internally, and it is known internally. Yeah, you you you, you remember here? Okay, it looks like trying to access one from HTTP. Yeah, so that's it, internal. So. <clears throat> We can take a look, a short look into the configuration files for that. So, uh, one is, uh, let me show you the Mongo Express. So you can see here so that what I did. This is the configuration. So that's the name of the service, of the Kubernetes service inside uh, Kubernetes. So, and these are the credential information. So, with that, you know, with that in mind, if you use this sample configuration, you have to also to uh, set up your entry or your access to the database here on IBM Cloud in that that free cluster. And if you have a UI, yeah, yeah, there must be separate so that your server access really here inside uh, that situation, the MongoDB server, that's all. Yeah. Then I would say, have fun in your hackathon, use it, and feel free to use the GitHub project um, I provided for you. Okay, bye. I forgot one little thing. All the needed information is below in the description you can access. And by the way, I forgot also to say for sure, we do not use persistent volumes if your pod crashes. 
your data is lost. But that's a hackathon and that's not critical in that moment. Okay, but now I say bye and have fun. See you.